Tara, three more important games against ACT this weekend. Um, what are your thoughts about playing in Wagga Wagga? Yeah, I think it's really great that ACT have chosen to take their home round down to Wagga and to get some National League games in a country area is something that I think is really good for women's cricket in general and something we're all really looking forward to. Of course, you're a North Coastal girl, grew up in Grafton. It'd be um, good to get more games in regional areas. Yeah, I think for the country girls, I guess they don't get to see a lot of women's cricket. They all grow up playing boys or men's cricket. So for them to kind of experience something like that is something that's really great. And I hope a few of them get out and watch us on the weekend. Now, playing the ACT, now a lot of the ACT girls play in the Sydney Great competition, so you know them pretty well. Does that add a little bit of extra spice to these games? Yeah, I think there's always a pretty good rivalry between us and ACT. We do uh, like to get into them a little bit, knowing how many of them are actually from New South Wales, and we play against them on a regular basis. So like you said, we know them pretty well, which we try and use to our advantage, but should be a good few games. It's been a pretty wet week here in Sydney. How's the team's preparation been? Yeah, it has. The weather's hampered us a little bit, but we've changed some things around and had a lot of communication within the group, and we're still feeling like we've prepared really well. And I guess we're in, as a team, and a lot of the individual players within our team are in red-hot form, so I guess we're in pretty good shape heading into the weekend. There were some strong performances against um, Victoria. Your own performance in that last T20, we took a month for 17 or four hours. It must give you a lot of confidence. Yeah, um, it was good to be able to get back out there after missing the first round. So I was just really enjoying being back out there with the team. And there was a lot of good things that came out of that weekend. Midge and Oz on the one day game, their batting was incredible. And I think our team just really gelled in the absence of Alex. We all knew that we had to stand up. And I think we all did that really well. That last... Um, 50 over game where you did lose some early wickets. Um, as a lower order batsman, you're, you're pretty accomplished yourself. Is um, that lower order a very confident group as well? Yeah, I think with the breakers, the thing that we talk about fairly often is that we do bat to number 12, really. So if one person happens not to get runs on the day, then we always know that someone else is going to stand up. So there's never really any panic within our group. We know that we'll be able to get the job done.